I'm on Juma. I'm on Chitwa Chitwa. So yay! We are exploring Chitwa Chitwa. My name is Stefan de Toy and I'm the general manager of Chitwa Chitwa. The history of Chitwa started in 1992 by Charles Brink, who's the owner of, of Chitwa Chitwa. He actually built Chitwa himself, or most of Chitwa he built himself. He was the first guide, manager, cook for the lodge. We basically upgraded the lodge in 2009. When the Brink family originally bought the piece of land, and the, the was a guy that was like a camp attendant that looked after it. They didn't live here permanently. And he would always tell the story of a very old bull giraffe that would hang around in the area, he would come and drink, and you could actually hear him coming from quite far because he's so old that when he walked, his knees creaked and they went Chitwa, Chitwa, and that's where the name Chitwa Chitwa comes from. Now, I haven't had a chance to spend some time with Hippo in a long time. Isn't this exciting? The dam is pretty much the central part of the lot. Everything here revolves around the dam. We've got the 17 hippos that stay at two different pods that stay at the dam at the moment. As we know, there's four crocs as well, sorry. Now we've got a new croc, a baby croc. She's about almost two meters. So uh, she's just joined us from, I don't know, December. Now there's, there's way too many tubs and geese. We counted 114 the other day. A family of 14 and a family of 11 and there's a family of seven that, that stay on this side. The sticks females and the babies are coming fairly often at the moment. We also have the Birmingham males. When the Birmingham males just moved in, they, uh, this was like the nucleus of their territory. They would be here every single day. They came and lay on the dam wall and that's where they would rule from. And we've got Tandy and her one young cub. Tandy comes through the lodge very, very often. She's very familiar with the lodge as well as Tingana. We don't see him, but we find his tracks. And very often in the mornings when we fetch uh, the guests from their suites, you can see the tracks of Tingana or Tani in the camp. So we're very excited to have you on, on, on Chitwa. I think Chitwa brings a, a nice element with the fact that we have always got hippo. We've pretty much always got crocodiles, we've always got the fish eagles. So it's, always a, it's a nice thing that you can follow. And the fish eagles you can get fairly close to, which is very, very nice. And I mean, this is probably one of the best places to see fish eagles fish from in the world. The staff get very excited. Whenever, whenever they see the vehicle coming down, everybody rushes to the, to the closest computer, which is in our library, and then they try and see if they can get on quick enough to see if we're, what they're looking at and why they're here. And uh, for us, it's, just, it's a great thing to be able to open up a new piece of, of land for, for Safari Life to work on, also for Safari Life viewers to see different parts of, of, of the Sabi Sand. We have got so much more to show you from the African bush. So I'll tell you what, why don't you click subscribe here, activate it with a little bell here, and you'll get a notification every time we go live. That's two, three hour safaris every single day.